Ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of the G-Shock Watcher, we're going to be looking at some new G-Shocks that are coming out to market, some really cool MTGs that were on the Bayi website, and some of the watches I just purchased and a preview into our next upcoming mod. Thanks for joining. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thanks for joining me today from a very uh, dreary Sunday afternoon here in Singapore. Uh, I've been on the road a lot, so we haven't done too much of the G-Shock watching, but we're going to get into some watches today. As I said, let's look at some new releases, some of the watches I've just purchased, and then of course, some of the watches to look out for on the Bayi website. Unfortunately, some of the cooler ones look like they're about to end the auction, but I still wanted to go ahead and show those to you anyway. So, Starting off, what I wanted to do was show you some of these new watches that are coming out, which I think look fantastic. This is the new Master of G Air Gravity Master. So you might remember, or if you've been with the channel long enough, I was hunting down one of these Gravity Masters because they were basically stopping production, but it looks like they are back now with new models. And this model looks super slick. You can sort of see the black and the reds and the greys. Um, really nice design, comes in three different versions, the black and red, the black and gray, and the black and light blue, which you know also looks pretty nice as well, very, very futuristic in terms of what it's actually got. Um, it certainly wouldn't look bad being on your, uh, on your wrist. It sort of has that heft like a, a, a Mudmaster does, um, but that black, sorry, black and red I really like. I kind of like that black and red color, but this gray and blue is not necessarily a slouch in the looks department either. The uh, black on gray, kind of fundamental, I think. I really kind of like either this one or this one in this particular color. Um, these watches, 49,500 yen, so about 279 pounds. You know, good looking watch. It's gonna be around about 439 Sing when it comes to Singapore. So might be something to uh, to check out, although, again, I'll probably get in trouble if I were to go and invest in one of those right now, considering the number of G-Shock watches I actually have. Um, but if we look at the next one, this one is a new one as well. It's just come out, the new MTG, uh, very Space Age series sort of watch, as they sort of call it, a vision of the galaxy, which I guess is a nice look of the galaxy with all the... Uh, the very Marvel pretty colors and things like that, but a very, very nice watch all the same. It's that MTG style. It's the metal and it's the resin which comes together. And when I was looking at this, I was thinking this is very similar to another watch which I'd seen once before, and it was this one here, which was this MTG B3000PRB. So this is a B3000DN, which is the new one, the Nebula, and this one is the 3000 PRB. But the difference here, um, there's not much color on the inside. So if you look at the comparison, the inside, the dials and the hands and everything are all colored nicely. So you've got that nice glow throughout the watch and the band itself is black. Whereas the other one, you had all of the coloring in the actual case and the band itself was purple. This almost feels like a uh, a Joker watch. Like if the Joker was going out to battle a Batman, this is probably the watch he'd want to go ahead and actually wear. But if you're a, a guardian of the galaxy, I'm guessing this is really the watch that you're going to go and wear uh, to go to battle with Thanos on, although Thanos isn't around anymore. Um, but very cool watch all the same, $1,699. So it's up there in the MTG prices. Wouldn't expect it to be any cheaper than that, but a very, very cool watch. The, us, the last one, which I kind of like, is this one, the GA2300, a very bold vision for what a G-Shock watch can actually be. And the GA series, as many of you know, is a very popular series of watches. In fact, it's one of the watches which has become pretty much the most moddable watch, which I've done a few mods on already. Um, my Caution Yellow watch was a, a, a GAB2100, um, so this one is a GA2300, and if we go back in time, so 
This is our GA2300 watch. So it's got a purple, a white variant, and a black variant. I kind of like the gray variant with the orange. I kind of like that contrast of colors. But if we go back to the GA2200, it was this sort of look, a very sort of rigid, screwed on look, which is probably not as moddable as the, uh, the GA2100. And then your GA2100, basically. Um, but again, the GA2100s, they weren't the watches that were solar powered and Bluetooth. And for that, you needed to have a GAB2100. And this was the GAB2100, which we modded to be a caution yellow with the XKX mod. So I'll put a link to uh, that modification if you want to go back and have a look. But GAB2100 is a great watch. You know, you've got Bluetooth, you've got Tough Solar. Um, I thought it was multi-band, but maybe it's not. I mean, this tells me that it isn't, so uh, so that's not a problem. But with the Bluetooth, you can certainly go ahead and actually attach it to the uh, uh, app and do the synchronization of time. So, you know, you weren't fumbling around too much, but the GAB2100s and the GA2000 is very, very moddable. 2200, as you sort of see here, not not as moddable, right? That's a fairly uh, tough case to go. But the GA2300, again, probably not as moddable, but it looks pretty good the way it actually is. The only problem here, no solar, no Bluetooth. Uh, maybe we'll see a GAB2300 at some point uh, that we could actually get to. Uh, maybe the challenge is fitting the solar in there as well. I'm not too sure. But very, very nice looking watch, I think. I think this is a very cool cool watch to be able to get a hold of. One last thing uh, that I want to sort of showcase, and it was not a watch, but G-Shock is doing G-Shock goods. And you can actually get now little stands and cases for your different watches. So um, you've got here the, the little stands here. You can put your G-Shocks on top. You've also got the mount for two watches side by side, which is kind of nice. And then you've got the bigger casing, which will give you, well, how many is that? One, two, three, three, three cases. Um, obviously not enough for me because I've got too many watches, but kind of nice that they're letting people, you know, buy these things to help put their watches on display because there's a certain amount of pride that people are having for their G-Shock watches. So kind of cool, kind of cool. All right. Let's have a look at some watches on Baiyi. Uh, actually, before we do that, let me show you some of the watches I've got from the uh, Baiyi auctions just recently. Uh, one, I want to do a modification. One, I hunted down because somebody on the channel actually said, hey, could you do some more investigation on a range man? So I wanted to hunt down one of the range mans. So what I picked up was this one here, a GWX 5600. I've never actually had one of these watches before. Um, what this watch actually has, it's got the Tide on the top, but it's Tough Solar, it's multi-band six. Um, I don't think it's got Bluetooth, that's for sure. But, you know, a very cool uh, sort of watch. It's all resin, but I'm also going to modify it. So let me show you what that modification kit actually looks like, because I'm going to try and actually use a modification kit that has that sort of Mech Warrior uh, red and black to it. So uh, let me show you that one. Okay, this is the next modification we got from AliExpress, and this is for that GWX5600, which I just showed you. Inside the box, it's got a replacement cover. I've also ordered the buttons that go with this to help it uh, keep the look. Uh, we've got the tools and things like that. And the actual bracelet that we're going for, it's a titanium kind of mech style bracelet. So that's the face. And then this is going to be the bracelet. Kind of cool with all the etchings on it. Multiband six, Bluetooth, all those different things. So. That is something which we'll be modding in the weeks to come. So we'll do that mod in a couple of weeks uh, before I'm, well, after I'm going on leave. So I'll be traveling, so no time for mods unless the watch comes in this week and I've got time, but I very much doubt it because I'll be packing. Um, the other watch 
which I got was this one, the Rangeman, um, which is a really, really nice watch. Again, following on the, the caution yellow sort of look of things, um, the very black and the yellow of the watch itself. Everybody told me the Rangemans are great. You've got to get a Rangeman. Can you do a, a story on the Rangeman? Like we did the GA2100 retrospective. Somebody said, could you do one on the Rangeman? So I thought I should probably go ahead and try and grab a hold of one first. There is a particular range, man, I was hunting down every time I tried to bid for this particular watch, get, getting outbid, outbid, outbid. Uh, it's a collaborative model, and I'll show you in a bit. But this one I like. This is a very nice uh, black and yellow range, man. So this will come in this week, and I'll potentially uh, take this to wear on, uh, on holidays as well. So, um, yeah, we've got the watch that we're going to go ahead and actually modify and Turn that into a bit of a mech uh, watch. And then we've got this uh, black and yellow range man, which I think looks really, really nice. Okay, so let's jump over and have a look at some of the watches on the Bai website that looked interesting. And again, some of these, unfortunately, I've missed the time to, to bid. So, so have you. But I thought they were interesting watches to have a look at. This one I thought was very cool. It was a MTG B2000 XMG limited edition rainbow mountain now this is a very very pretty watch uh it almost looks like it's got the wood paneling in it so it's got this copperish color in the in the uh, attachment to the bracelet uh resin bracelet nice colors in the actual watch and i was looking at it going is it is it meant to be wood i'm not too sure but when i went back and did the research on this one um, what it is, is this multicolor carbon bezel inspired by Peru's Rainbow Mountain. So I guess it's the landscape which it's meant to uh, uh, emulate. So very, very nice watch here. Um, available in the US for $1,150, $154,000 yen. If we have a look at it, the price it went for was $105,000 yen. So the price itself was actually pretty decent to be able to go ahead and actually pick it up. So for around about 105,000, 50,000 yen cheaper. So under a thousand dollar sing is a good price for this very uh, interesting limited edition uh, watch. The other one, which I thought was kind of interesting as well, um, was this one. This is another MTG, uh, black and green, a very interesting sort of color combination as well. Um, this particular watch went for, let's have a look, finished, the price was 74,000 yen and the price normally is 148,000 yen, so 50% off. Um, so whoever got that up uh, is very, very lucky. It's a 50% off for this MTG watch, a very interesting sort of black and green. The face is a bit boring, but I like the details of the green just under the buttons. It's uh, it's kind of nice to see this little bit of flashes of color, which can actually be utilized here in this particular watch. Now, finally, we have a quick look at some other watches here in the buy. These ones are still available, but probably not for a very, very long time. Um, here's one of those GA 2000s, which is a nice watch. Uh, again, my preference for the black and the yellows always sort of comes through, but this one's kind of nice. The black and the yellow with a bit of gold, um, a nice watch. Uh, it doesn't have things like Tough Solar uh, or Bluetooth. This is a battery watch. Came out in March 2019, but a nice watch all the same. It's a carbon core guard watch, so very, very solid. 200 meters water resistance, has all the time zones. You know, if you wanted a, a sort of very sporty, stylish looking watch, this is actually not a bad one. It went for previously, so $199 Sing. It's currently at $82 Sing dollars. And that's at a buyout price. So straight away, if you were to go ahead and actually bid it, you get it for half price and it's unused. So it's an older watch, but still it's uh, it's not a bad one. The other one here, this is kind of nice. It's a G-Shock Mudmaster British Army collaboration model watch. And I've seen a few of these come through. Um, they're, they're nice. They're an interesting sort of watch, right? So if we go down and have a, a look here, Squiz, this was a, a, a big collaboration with the British Army. So it's got Bluetooth, doesn't have tough solar, 
Um, but all the same, it's a fairly robust looking watch. Uh, something very, very cool if you wanted something a little bit uh, uh, different on your wrist. It's a Mudmaster, so it has that uh, that presence, that you know chunky Mudmaster sort of look and feel um, in the shape of a uh, British Army watch, which is uh, which is kind of cool. So this one currently the bids at three hundred and seventy one. Uh, my Shockbase website has uh, is not responding. Hang, let's go back again. Come on, Shockbase. It's been a bit slow recently. I'm not sure why that's the case. Um, so 371, 40,000 yen and 57,000 yen. So $669 was their price. So it's just over half price right now. It's not, not too bad. Okay, this one, I see a lot of people trying to sell these at the moment. Okay, this is one watch I'm going to tell you, don't go and buy and buy. Don't even buy it yet. They're not in different marketplaces. Um, this is the new manga inspired watch. It's very clever looking like that's it looks like a piece of paper cardboard. That's that's the actual watch. Um, it's very, very cool. But what I've been noticing is that a lot of these watches, the prices they're setting them at is a close to around about $300. So about 33,000 yen. These watches are going to be about 200 bucks when they come out on the market. So when you buy them in the shop, it's going to be a lot cheaper than these, uh, these auction prices. So they look kind of cool. They're unique. Calm. Just let them come to the market first before you start going to, uh, to purchase them because you can see here the price is 25,300. These guys are trying to put it up for 32,000. So they're, they're marking it up based on the fact that you can't get them everywhere right now. So I wouldn't go necessarily rushing to buy them on the buy website. Check them out in the store, see what you think of them. Um, again, some of the challenges of this one, it's got a uh, inverted display. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, so just be a little bit aware of that one. A couple more. This one's always a good pickup if you want to do some modding. I love this this style watch, uh, the uh, the GW M5600, especially for the colors. It's kind of purple with the orange, and I think it sits well in any sort of titanium bracelet. I've got a, the friend of mine I gave that watch to, which was a titanium bracelet with this module. He loves it. He wears it every single day. It's a very stylish watch, and with the titanium bracelet, it just feels uh, really good. So this watch at $32 sing right now it's a great watch to be able to pick up it's tough solar multi-band six nice one this last one is really cool i'd look at this one up this is a ga2000 which is similar to the first one we actually saw but it's a well, it's a gorillas collaboration watch uh very interesting sort of watch and so if you like the music by the gorillas this is the g-shock watch for you uh, very, very cool. $109 right now at the current price. Uh, it was going for 21,000 yen. I can't do my calculations. Let's have a look. 21,000. Let's just, I was doing some research on pricing there before. 21,000, that's 180. So right now at that price, it's pretty good price. It's about $80 off. So if you're a fan of, of Gorillas, then uh, it's a cool watch to be able to actually uh, pick up for, for that one. So then the last one we're going to go ahead and actually have a look at is this one here. And it's interesting, I can't bid on this particular watch at the moment. Um, but this is the collaboration range man. This is the one that every time I find it at a good price and I start trying to bid on it, the price just jacks up. It's really, really expensive, but it's a really pretty uh, range, man, because this is a collaboration with the fire departments. So you've got the blacks, the reds, and then you've got a little bit of the yellow here as well. And on the back, it's a bit tough to see, but you can see the collaboration symbols there of the different departments there. So very, very nice watch. That one goes right now for 421. It usually even gets up to something like about $800. Uh, so that watch can get very, very pricey, but a very cool watch all the same. So anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at some of the watches with me. Look forward to that modification we're going to be doing on that uh, watch with the Tide to do a kind of mecha watch. And 
as always, please enjoy your watches, enjoy your G-Shocks, and thanks for spending some time with me.